This year's American League MVP race between Aaron Judge and Shohei Otani was an incredibly close one. Now, both players are insanely talented in their own rights, but almost everyone expected Otani to take home the AL MVP award this year. Showtime was on a whole other level this season. This is why it was shocking to see Judge take the title, and a certain minor leaguer seems to agree. Keep watching to see what he has to say. First up, let's talk about Judge's MVP win. It seems like the battle for the AL MVP all year long was a two-man race. On the one hand, you had Aaron Judge. On the other, there was Shohei Otani. Judd set a new AL home run record with 62, beating the previous mark of 51, while Otani had a historic year, becoming the first player in MLB history to be ranked among the league leaders as both a pitcher and a hitter. If this was any other year, they both would have won MVPs, and most certainly unanimous MVPs at that. But there could only be one winner this year, and following his spectacular season, it seems fair that Judge received 28 of the 30 first place votes. Moving on, an LA minor leaguer says that Shohei Otani was snubbed as MVP. Now, while the voters may believe that Judge earned the MVP spot this year, one minor leaguer doesn't seem to agree. Ty Buttry, a pitcher in the Angels minor league system, believes his former teammate was cheated out of winning his second straight MVP award. Ty tweeted only a little while after the announcement was made, and boy, he did not hold back. Like, at all. Now, his argument wasn't anything new. It's something that a lot of people have been saying ever since Judge was named MVP. He, like many others, believes that Otani is doing something that's never been done in baseball history. And sure, Judge smashed the American League home run record. We'll give him that. But Otani was a top 10 pitcher and hitter. He finished fourth in the Cy Young voting. Many felt he should have been a top three finalist. Other than that, Showtime was also a silver slugger runner-up at DH and Utility. And perhaps most importantly, he gave it his all for the Angels in what was arguably one of the greatest seasons in MLB history. So yeah, while Otani may not have won the award, at least Angels fans now recognize how fortunate they were to witness his brilliance on a nightly basis. And the good news is that they'll have at least another year of it. Next up, here's why we think Otani deserved MVP. Though he finished second in MVP voting, Shohei Otani had one of the most remarkable seasons we've ever seen. His incredible two-way achievement was historic and deserved every bit of the MVP look he got, if not more. But forces conspired against Otani that were beyond his control. However, that doesn't mean we can't reminisce and remind you just why everyone's saying Showtime was snubbed. Starting with his improvement, everyone will agree that Otani has significantly improved his performance this season. Otani's stats as a hitter were way better this year than his 2021 season. In 2021, he had 46 home runs and 100 RBIs. In 2022, he had 34 home runs and 95 RBIs. However, Otani did better at the plate this year, hitting 273 instead of 257. Despite having 49 more at bats, he struck out 28 fewer times. Otani enjoyed a breakout season as a pitcher in 2022. He went 9 and 2 with a 3.18 ERA, 1.09 WHIP, and 3.52 FIP in 130.1 innings last year. More than enough to earn the MVP title. This year, however, he developed into one of baseball's top pitchers. Otani Otani finished the season 15 and 9 with a 2.33 ERA, a 1.01 WHIP, and a league-leading 11.87 strikeouts per nine innings. He ranked first in the AL with a 2.73 Sierra, second with a 2.68 ERA, and second with a 2.40 FIP. Overall, Otani meant everything to the Angels this year. He carried them to victory at several stages throughout the season. When the team was in trouble, raking in 14 losses in a row, and without their newly fired manager Joe Madden, it was Otani who pitched seven innings of one-run ball and blessed did the game-winning two-run home run to lift his team to victory and halt the losing streak. Knowing all this, wouldn't it make sense for him to be the league's most valuable player? Sure, Judge took the Yankees to the playoffs, but Showtime was the more important player this time. Not to mention he's arguably the best two-way performer in the MLB. If we sorted for players who pitched in at least five games in Major League Baseball from 1900 to the present, Otani and Babe Ruth are the only two players on the offense position player's side to ever reach 3.1 WAR in a season, and both did it twice. Ruth posted 2.1 WAR as a full-time pitcher in 1917, then increased his offensive game to 4.7 WAR in 1918, but substantially reduced reduced his pitching, posting 2.3 WAR on the mound. In 1919, he hit 9.1 WAR with the bat, but only .8 WAR on the mound, and he was practically done pitching after that. Otani has over 3.0 WAR in both pitching and position play over the last three years. 
significantly topping each mark. The bottom line is, Otani is the first player in history to have a 3.0 WAR season in both pitching and position playing, and he's done it twice in a row. Yeah, you heard us. That's something the greatest ball players haven't been able to do. Not even Babe Ruth dominated in both areas at the same time. Not even once, like Otani has these past two seasons. We believe it might have started to make sense why so many people believed he was robbed of the title this year. Coming up, Otani was dragged down by his teammates. This is something Mike Trout is all too familiar with. Even though things have calmed down a little bit, it's still pretty difficult, if not downright impossible, to win MVP from a failing team. The Angels finished this season at 73 and 89, and many will claim that Otani can't possibly be valuable on a team that didn't even make it close to the playoffs. Of course, Trout earned MVP on a 74 win team in 2016 and a 72 win team in 2019, while Otani won MVP on a 77 win team in 2021. So there clearly are exceptions. But the point we're trying to make is that winning is far more difficult when your team can't perform. When voters are given a choice between two great MVP candidates, one playing on a 99-win club and the other on a non-contender, they understandably sway to the win-heavy side. Finally, he was up against history. Now, we're sure there will be many people who think Otani should have won the award over Aaron Judge, or that Judge somehow was less deserving. Nothing could be further from the truth. There's a reason he got all those votes. He's fantastic. By all accounts, he's here because he deserves it. We're not sure how the vote would have turned out if Otani's 2021 season didn't happen, and the Angels remained in the race. But given the circumstances, we believe it would have required a historic season to topple Otani. And Judge had that historic season. He was the Major's top performer in home runs, RBI, runs, on base, slugging, and WAR. He had an incredible 211 an OPS plus. We all know he was the sixth player in history to smash 60 home runs in a season, but this was also only the second time since 2001 that a player surpassed 130 runs and RBI. On the other hand, the 10.6 WAR has only been reached by a position player 27 times before, and 12 of those were Babe Ruth, Willie Mays, and Barry Bonds. That's some incredible company to have, and we'll give Judge that. Judge just simply has too much going on for him, and we believe the history made by Judge combined with exhaustion and poor teammate performance, work together to prevent Shohei from winning a second straight MVP title. Better luck next time, we guess. Moving on, the Angels trade strengthens the supporting cast around Shohei Otani and Mike Trout. It looks like Otani and Trout might finally be getting the backup they deserve. The Los Angeles Angels front office finally decided to do their job and landed a deal with outfielder Hunter Renfro from the Milwaukee Brewers. In exchange for Renfro, the franchise traded three pitching prospects to Milwaukee in the form of Jansen Junk, Elvis Perguro, and Adam Simoneris. This appears to be a solid acquisition for the Angels. Renfro, for one, is coming off probably the best season in his major career. He hit 255, 315, 492 with an 807 OPS and a career-high 126 OPS plus in the 2022 MLB season. He also shot 29 home runs and drove in 72 runs. In addition, he had a 347 OPA and a 124 RC plus. Renfro has all the potential to provide significant offense and power to help Mike Trout and Shohei Otani in carrying the load. Let's hope he lives up to our expectations. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think Otani deserved to be named MVP? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.